Hey guys, uh, Zero here again. I got another box. Let's pop open. It's got some stuff in it. Uh, this is from Ender Toys again. It is a uh, 3D print printed scenery I picked up. I wanted to um, <coughs> get some more scenery for the Frostgrave game that I'm getting ready to play. And a couple of the scenarios call for a tower or a ruined tower. So I was looking online for something, just you know, something quick to uh, you know to kind of fill that slot because I didn't want to make anything, you know, um, but also something that could be used in other games. So I picked up this tower set from Ender Games, Ender Toys, sorry, and it came like with three parts. So you have this one. <coughs> you have looks like this one here. And then you have this one. Like a ruin tower. So I'll go through them individually so you guys can get a better look at them. I apologize. The first one is like a gazebo, with more, you know. Uh, see in here. And it's just got the little pillars. It's got its own base, uh, which is kind of nice. I can I can actually just leave that. I don't have to put any, on anything. <clears throat> I can just set it down on the table, and there you go. And the the dome comes off, which kind of. It's kind of cool, you know. You can get your hands in there. Um, there's these little little pieces here that hold the dome up. You know, it actually helps support it when it's together. Makes it nice and solid. Actually, no. Looking at it now, they don't even support the dome. I don't know if you can see that. It's just little buttress pieces, I guess, to for for detail. Um, <clears throat> There is print texture on this. You can hear it. Um, and I I kind of felt like that would be the case with this. But honestly, hey, look at it in there. You can actually see all the, the printing stuff. See? Little printing hairs in there. Uh, but <clears throat> like I said, my intention for this kit wasn't, you know, really detailed killer scenery. It was just mainly to have something for Frostgrave, move your guys in and out of. Um, you could probably use it in D&D, you know, whatever role-playing game you're using or miniature skirmish war, uh, war game <clears throat> like Age of Sigmar, Warhammer 40K. Depending on how you decorate it, you know what I mean? It could fit in a lot of different worlds. So that's the first tower. <clears throat> then we'll go to the ruin tower, <clears throat> which is kind of cool. It's got like a, it's actually got a lot of detail on it for it being a ruin tower. Interesting. Again, <clears throat> side is just real basic, but it's got that print text. I wish it would have had like a brick pattern but it doesn't. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe I could uh, put some plastic card bricks on, you know, like cut shapes and just make some plastic card stuff. It's got some cool ruined stairs, you know. <clears throat> you can't put any miniatures on those stairs, but the point is there, you know what I mean? That's where they're gonna go up and get on that platform there. <clears throat> Giving them some sort of advantage if, if, if it need be. There's a little space behind this here. You could actually get your finger in there. <clears throat> I don't know if you could get models back there. Probably. It'd just be kind of difficult to get them out of there, moving them around. <clears throat> it's got a cool look to it, you know? 
you just again this is one of those pieces you just you set down and you're good to go <clears throat> and we've got the large tower which is multiple sections which is kind of cool so you've got your base which is just like the base on this one with the exception of a staircase it has a spiral staircase going up I apologize, I know the lighting's not the greatest <clears throat> you can see there you know again you can't stand any miniatures on there but you know they, it, the point is there and you can see it's literally like a little spiral, it's pretty cool <clears throat> and you've got the second tier It's got space for minis down there, and it actually has a hole where the staircase leads to. And I'll put that together so you can see it real quick. Actually, if you can see that. <clears throat> but it's there. You can line it up. Not a lot of usable space here uh, for miniatures. You can set them on the second level, but there's like it's like a lot of you know. But there are you know a lot of windows and stuff, so they could you know technically if you have archers or crossbowmen or someone casting spells, you could see through those doorways or windows there. So that's kind of cool. And then it has a dome, just like the others. You can hear. I don't know if you can even see it. Like you can see the print lines. <clears throat> and there it is. Not the greatest of the 3D printed scenery pieces that I've gotten. Probably the most expensive. <clears throat> this was $30 on eBay. Shipped. Which, <clears throat> you know, as far as scenery goes, that's one of the smaller like, Games Workshop kits or whatever you know but <clears throat> you know you got three nice pieces that you can just throw across your table and they'll fill up some space you know and you start putting your ruins in and everything like that and you've got a nice sized table covered with scenery um, also in Frostgrave you know the small space that you play on like two by two or three by three um, but you want a lot of scenery you want crowded space because you know you don't want they don't want you to have too many lanes of fire you know for guys to just stand still and shoot the goal is to uh find treasure and get it off the table you know you're not going to do that if you got you you got guys posted down the lanes just trying to shoot whatever moves you know those guys aren't being 100 percent effective you know <clears throat> but nonetheless like i said I picked this stuff up for, for, for Frostgrave, and hopefully we can use it for multi, you know, multi-purpose uh, scenery. I think say some like like some Stormcast Eternal type stuff. You know, again the surfaces are real smooth, with the exception of the print lines. So, you know, if you want to embellish that, or if you're going to dry brush this, it's not going to probably do too well with dry brushing because the shapes are very basic and very smooth so you're probably going to have to embellish this a little bit again like I said I may take cardboard or some thin uh, plastic card to make little bricks or shapes just to kind of break up the space so that it's not so smooth and not so plain but again I didn't want to do a lot of work for this stuff I wanted to just have some stuff I could spray you know base color uh, wash and then dry brush and be done with it Maybe, maybe add some snow, you know, because it is frost grave. Maybe, you know, but when you start putting stuff like that on your on your scenery, you pretty much designate your scenery for that purpose, right? So if I put snow on this scenery, it'll only look good on a snowboard or something of that nature. If you if you have desert terrain and you're running out and you need something else, you can throw it on there, sure, but it's going to look weird. It's gonna, like this guy's got some snow on his base. There's snow on the roof, but you're in a desert. It just doesn't look right. You you basically, you know, you you 
limit what the potential for the scenery is you know and i was trying to do that for like the 40k sector mechanicus stuff and some of the other stuff just kind of paint it certain colors but not base it so that it didn't really designate where it was supposed to be as opposed to it could be anywhere you just plop it down and you're good to go but anyway <clears throat> that's a different subject for a different time so this is the uh, ender toys 3d printed domed tower set like I said you can find them on eBay you can find them on Amazon pretty much anywhere uh, in you know is it worth thirty dollars eh, it's not terrible you know um, I've paid more for less so it's not bad um, it, it, I'm hoping it'll for, serve its purpose and really do well in, in, in the game that we're gonna play and other games so We'll see. Hopefully I can get it painted up and show you guys the scenery showcase video and do some more painted videos. Bye guys, thanks for watching.